<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back everybody. Welcome to another STEM at Home episode with me, Miss Jenny. Today's a pretty interesting day because we are going to do something that's kind of gross, but also something that I was very into as a kid, which were the ancient Egyptians. So like the ancient Egyptians, we're going to make a mummy today. What? Okay. That came out wrong. What we're going to do today is mummify an apple using some of the techniques that ancient Egyptians would have used. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, for this experiment, the ingredients are pretty easy. So to mummify an apple, you're gonna need an apple. You're gonna need a container that the apple can fit into and a lid, a peeler, and then more importantly, this. This is a one-to-one -one ratio of salt and baking soda. So my container can hold two cups. So I did a cup of salt and a cup of baking soda and I mixed it together really well. So to get started, our first step is to peel the skin of the apple. Now, obviously ancient Egyptians didn't do this to their loved ones, but they would take out the organs um, of the people that they were mummifying. They would take out their stomach, their intestines, their liver, and their lungs, and they would put them into what they called canopic jars. And they believed that, they, that this person would need those in the afterlife. Um, and what was interesting is that they would bury these canopic jars into the sarcophagus or the coffin that the person was laid to rest in. So pretty interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up peeling this apple and then I'll show you the next step. All right, now that our apple is peeled, I'm going to do an optional step. You do not have to do this, but I'm going to um, carve a face <laughs> into my apple just to be um, extra gross about this. So I'm going to give my little apple a little face. So I'll be right back. All right, now that my apple has a little face, this is the next step. You're gonna put your apple into your container and you're gonna top that with the salt and um, baking soda mixture that you mixed up before. Completely cover it. Okay. Then you are going to put the lid on your apple. So now that we've sealed our apple with our salt and baking soda mixture inside, we are going to set this aside and leave it for one whole week. So what's the science behind mummifying an apple? The baking soda and salt act as desiccants, or a substance that absorbs water and dries something out. For ancient Egyptians, they would use a mineral called natron that they would dig up from the bottom of lake beds. Natron has a high baking soda and salt content, so it acted as the desiccant for the mummy. So basically, we're using the same techniques as the ancient Egyptians. All right, you guys, it has been one week since we put our apple away to be mummified. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. There's a lot of liquid at the top, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour that out. And then try to get this out as nicely as I can. <gasps> Ooh. Here is our, <laughs> our mummified apple. He has a little bit of the solution left in here, but it feels still squishy. It's <laughs> still squishy like an apple, but you can tell like it still has the same form and shape, especially his face, which is why I wanted to draw it to show you guys that it still retains a lot of the shape. Um, which is why mummies are so well preserved when we discover them. So um, I thought I would show you what this looks like after a week. Looks pretty good. I also wanted to say that this solution in here, the desiccant, is soaked. It pulled out all of the water um, of that apple. So I tried to wipe our little guy off a little bit better, but here you can see um, the apple skin the top and the form is still really good you can really make out his face he has the general shape of an apple 
just a little bit, a lot smaller. So I hope you guys had fun with our mummy experiment today. Like I said, if you guys have time, definitely go read up more about ancient Egyptians and their culture and their civilization. Um, there's so much more fun stuff to learn and I love learning about it as a kid. So I wanna say thank you for joining me. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Ho, 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 ho.